Welcome to Poseidon Tech. In today's video, we'll use Cell EM to measure our energy consumption using Home Assistant. We can create some very useful graphs and even compare our data per day, per week, per month, or even per year. So stay tuned. If you like our tutorials, support our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Like and share our videos. And if our tutorials help you to grow your business, become a true member of Poseidon Tech by clicking the join button. If you want to learn more about our services, visit our website. Ok, now it's time to unbox the devices. We will use one cell EM and two 50 amps current transformers. First let's open the EM, the known package from Selling, and this is the actual device. And this is the current transformer. We will use two of them, one for the main power and one for the additional. Now it's time to connect the current transformer to the cell EM. We need a small screwdriver and connect the first current transformer to the connection of P1. Don't forget we have a P1 plus and a P1 minus connector. This is how you connect the current transformer to the actual cell EM. Then you open this clamp here and make sure that this will be around the cable you want to measure the power consumption. Same procedure for the second clamp, but this time this needs to be connected to P2. Now it's time to power up the cell in order to connect it to our application. We need the line and the negative, as always. Once it is connected, now it's time to power it up. Make sure that you have done all the connections accordingly. The procedure to connect cell EM to cell application is the known one. First of all, connect to the generated Wi Fi network, then navigate to IP address 192.168.33.1, and here from settings, Wi Fi mode client, we can select the Wi Fi network we want this cell device to be connected. We need to provide the SSID and the password. That's it. Now our device is trying to connect to this network. It's time to go to the cell application and add the device. In this case, we'll add it by IP since we know the IP address. And that's it. Our device appears here. Just press add. Give it a name, select a room, select the image and press done. That's it. Our device is connected. Now, from the main screen, we can go to the power consumption. Not a lot of information here, since it has not any measurements yet. Now it's time to connect the cell EM to an actual electrical panel. 
first of all, remove the cover. Put the clamp around the cable you want to measure and power up CLEM as we have done previously. Since everything is ready, now it's time to power up the CLEM once again and connect it to Home Assistant. First, let's give a look at the Celly Cloud. As you can see, the device appears here and also we have some power measurements. Nothing yet in the power consumption graph since it needs some time in order to calculate this. Now it's time to go to Home Assistant. Go to Settings. Integrations. And as you can see, our cell device appears here. We just need to press Configure. Submit. And select an area. That's it. Our device is connected to Home Assistant. And here we have all the sensors available. Now it's time to go to Dashboards, select the Energy Dashboard, Add Consumption, and here we need to select the channel that our main power consumption it is. In our case, it's Channel 1. Here we have the option to track some costs. Let's use a static price for now. As you know, energy is expensive nowadays. And that's it. It is ready. Now we can go back to the energy dashboard. And as you can see, the graph is not ready yet. It will take up to two hours to populate some values. After some days, our data is here. So, let's get a closer look. As you can see, we can check the power consumption per week. We can switch to a different week. We can check the power consumption per day, week, month. And also compare between weeks, months, days, or even years. As you can see in this example here, we have also configured an individual device, which appear separately in the bottom of the screen. A lot of useful information we can get from these graphs. We have to admit that CLEM is very easy to use and configure. Also, in combination with Home Assistant, it's a very useful tool you can have all the information regarding your power consumption. Don't forget that apart from the energy, you can measure also the current power. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.